Could you please make him feel very loved? It's Daniel Connell. Hello, thanks everybody. I hope you're all well. I'm pretty good, thanks. Uh, I've been a bit down lately, actually, I must admit. I, um, I got publicly humiliated the other day. I want to tell you guys about it. I was, uh, I was walking home, uh, walking past a cafe near my house, and I noticed uh, three $2 coins on the ground. Uh, six bucks for anybody interested in full figures. I, um, <laughs> I saw that I thought, I'll have that, because I've got a little rhyme I like to sing when I see money on the ground. It goes, uh, if it's silver, don't be greedy. Leave it there for someone needy. But if it's gold... Pick it up, fuck quit, right? So I, um, <laughs> so I bent over to pick it up, right? And as I grabbed it, I realised that's, that's glued to the ground, right? <laughs> well, this isn't right, something's going on here, right? And I stood up and sure enough, five teenage boys just burst out laughing, <laughs> sitting at the cafe, pointing at me laughing. I was like, oh, good prank, fellas. Good on you, boys. I reckon 10 years ago I would have snapped, but I'm much more calmer now. And I just sort of gave them the thumbs up and calmly walked home. Um, and I got inside my house and just calmly picked up the phone and reported them to the terror hotline. Um, <laughs> uh, although I'm much more calmer, I do still like to get my revenge. Um, <laughs> I had this great image in my head of these boys just getting stormed by the AFP at, the, at that cafe, right? Just all these police just storming that cafe and just pinning those five boys to the ground, like knee in the back, right, arm behind the back, and just lining them up, right? And the AFP officer going, oh, six bucks. Right? And he... <laughs> But as he picks up, he realises it's flew to the ground, right? And all the boys just start laughing, and he just stands up and goes... Pff, pff. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was getting a bit dark towards the end, that one. <laughs> I'll line it up a bit, I'll line it up a bit. I um, heard this recently, you may have heard this, spiders can hear us now, that's exciting, isn't it? Spiders can hear us. Uh, scientists in the US worked out that spiders can hear us from up to seven metres away when they're in your house using the little hairs on their legs. Well, that's quite amazing. Uh, scientists also worked out that the most common sentence a spider hears before it dies is, Dale, get my shoe, which I thought was pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing scientific work. Um, I'm in a bit of a pickle here, guys, because I like spiders. I like to let them run free in my house, right? But I don't want them eavesdropping on my sweet conversations, right? Uh, so uh, what I've started to do is to shave the legs of every spider that comes into my house. <laughs> it's uh, dangerous, tedious work, but it's got to be done. Uh, had a big huntsman there come in the other day up on the wall. I said, come here, champ, I'll have you. Right? I got the razor out and just shaved every one of his legs. And uh, when I let him go, he actually looked quite sexy as he scurried back up the wall. Until uh, <laughs> he was feeling pretty good about himself. Uh, no doubt he's getting plenty of comments from the other spiders. It's just a shame he couldn't hear them, I guess. Uh, <laughs> have a great festival, guys. We'll see you next time.